Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will show you my new computer. Can I have the old one, Asus G14? Um, maybe. <laughs> Remember we won XS? This is a document camera with built-in screen. And it turns out that, guys, this document camera has a really cool operating system. And it works great. Let's get started. <laughs> You can of course use V1 access with your computer and I record the video about that. You can click the eye icon on the right top corner and watch the video. But today I am going to use um, this document camera with no computer. I will connect a projector, a monitor, a wireless mouse and also I will insert an SD memory card. I will also try connecting other things and let's see how it works. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Joe Yusing sent me this document camera for an exchange of this video and uh, the previous one. I was planning to record this video in my classroom but unfortunately lockdown continues and I am at home all day. So I am going to create a classroom environment here at home. So let's start working. Okay, I'm connecting it to my projector right now. So HDMI connection is done. And now I am going to insert an SD memory card. And finally, I am connecting a wireless mouse here. Uh, wired mouse work great and if you connect a wireless mouse sometimes you may see a connection problem so it's better to restart the device while it is connected to the document camera and let's check okay it moves using a mouse is really convenient guys you can use the functions very easily you can also zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll wheel look at this this is great there are touch keys on the document camera and you can press those keys to take picture but you see when you do that your hand may be visible on the camera so it's better to use a, a mouse to do that yep you can also use different options like curtains here you see guys it is it is really useful one thing to know you have a screen on the document camera you can see everything but not the cursor so uh, you may need to look at the projector screen to see the position of the cursor. Um, there's also another solution. I will talk about that in a minute. Okay, now let me show you more functions. Let's say I have this book and I am going to use a question from the book, right? So I open the book and take a picture of the question. Let's say here is the graph and I'm going to use this graph. Let's take a picture. I am going to use split screen mode and then put the graph on one side and my solution on the other side so the students can see both at the same time. You can zoom in, zoom out, position it by using the mouse. It is great. Now, let's show you if I write something on the right, how it looks like, and you see guys, it looks perfect. This is a really cool option, and I'm not using a computer to do that, right? So this document camera, guys, is amazing. But it's not the only cool thing. Continue watching and see more and more stuff. You can also use the menu here, guys, change the picture, change the position. So there are a lot of functions, a lot of functions. And one of the coolest thing is there is an annotator on this operating system, guys. So look at this. You can write digitally by using a document camera. It is, it is strange. When you face your students by using document camera, you know, projector will be behind you, right? So it's really hard to look at the projector screen and see where the cursor is. To solve this problem, you can also connect a monitor to this document camera. So now I don't need to look at the projector screen. I can use the monitor in front of me, see where the cursor is and write clearly. And now I am building a PC by using a document camera. This is amazing. I'm writing digitally. There are different options, markers, different colors. You can write digitally just like that. Writing with the mouse is not really easy, right? Uh, you have to practice a lot to do that. Let's save it. Okay. And I'm going to check how annotations look like on my computer screen. And I decided to check one more thing. I am going to use a graphics tablet. Let's do this. Let's see if it supports. I have here with me an XP Pen Deco Mini 7. Let me connect this. And look at this, guys. It supports. This is awesome. This is great. I can write digitally by using a graphics tablet and a document camera. Oh, there are a couple of problems. I think it's a driver issue. So sometimes automatically write it when you hover the pen on your tablet. But you know, it's not a big deal for me now. I am very surprised to see that. 
And finally, I am solving a question guys, speaking at the same time. And the world in microphone V1 XS has um, picks up the audio and it is recorded on this SD memory card. And let's see how it looks like. We can say that B is A plus 1, C is A plus 2, D is A plus 3, and A is A plus 4. And we can rewrite the equation as um, A square plus A plus 1 square plus A plus 2 square. The video quality is really good. Yeah, you see guys, the room was super dark and I just used the light I have on this document camera but the video quality is great. I can see annotations clearly, but the sound quality is not really good. If you're using upgrade their microphones, guys, it would be great. And let's check the picture quality, guys. Yeah, I like it. There is one more thing, guys. There is also a remote control of this device. So you can take pictures, record, go to menu, and choose other options as well. This is good. And finally, you can go to gallery and see the pictures and you can even watch the recording. Okay, Joe using V1 XS document camera. It is really heavy, it's heavy. And it's really cool guys, it has an operating system. You can connect a projector, a monitor, an SD memory card, and a wireless mouse at the same time. You can also connect a graphics tablet. I was really surprised to see that. I just tried, I didn't know it works, so it worked great. Um, it is awesome. You can take pictures, record your lectures, and even watch your um, videos by using this device. It's like a computer, right? There's a few things you need to know, and the first one is about the memory card. Joy using V1 XS guys supports FAT32 memory cards. If it is more than 32 gigabytes, it is usually in the form of X fat not fat 32 so you have to convert it another thing is wired mouse works great but if you want to use a wireless mouse you may need to um, restart the document camera in order to use it and it is the same with graphics tablets and the microphone quality needs to be improved um, it will be great if they uh, include a better microphone with using we want access okay that's it for today if you have any questions leave a comment below and let me know i will answer your questions as soon as possible see you next time keep watching mathematics goodbye